Good afternoon, this is Carol at Rocking Horse Farm. We're working with an LK140 today. Now the newer one is an LK150, but people with the LK140 wanted to do intarsia, and we they don't make the um, AG10 anymore for that machine. They make the AG11 for the LK150. And they said it wouldn't work, but I'm testing it out and we're going to make it go. I'm going to do a fast cast on by selecting every other needle, come across, and hang your cast on comb in this fashion. With the teeth facing you, then select the rest of the needles and come across. Now you have your cast on. Let's do a couple rows. Put our weight right in here. We're going to do an intarsia pattern. My granddaughter had to do an intarsia pattern that on an afghan that she drew out. And she just followed a chart. See, that's the thing with intarsia work. You're going to be following a chart. So I'm ready to work with my carriage now, my intarsia carriage, and what we want to do is get rid of this carriage. And put on the intarsia carriage. We also want to use the yarn from the floor or from bobbins. You don't want to run it through your antenna system. Remember to follow that chart. And I'm going to come across with this carriage to select the needles to the proper position. Each row, it comes out to the proper position. You'll notice numbers on here, 6.5 millimeter machine. And in the instruction book, it'll say that is for the LK140 and the LK150. The gray numbers are, it's going to confuse you because it's going to say 9 millimeter. Well, that was an older machine, and it'll tell you what the gray numbers are for in the instruction book. So follow the blue numbers for tension. Now we want to just come across and get the needles in the proper position. And now I'm following a chart. I'm not following that chart. I'm just going to do anything here by putting the intarsia, making an intarsia pattern. I put it in through the needles like this. And where I meet, I go like this and put it here. I'm going to take a close spin and hold this tail down. As you see, when the carriage comes across, it's going to take the yarn from the open end. So I've got the bo bobbins hanging on this side away from the carriage. See how it goes? Now I pick this up again, come across, following a chart. I'm putting it in the hooks not behind the latches, but in the hooks. And when I have two of them meet, I crisscross so there won't be a hole. Following the chart, away from the carriage side, have the yarn away from it, and crisscross underneath that where they meet, Here we're going to have trouble. That was good that happened. So I can show you that these have to be open and lay in the hook. The ball of yarn tipped over. That's what caused us a problem. Now do you see how the yarn will be taken from here to here? You can always look at the if the latches are open by the shine right there. Do you see that where the latches are all open? If it were closed, look at how that shine isn't right there. So I need to open that one to make sure that they're in the latches. Crisscross. And come across. And then we have very loose tension, sport weight yarn, just so you could see the stitches nicely. If you use a heavier yarn, you would turn the tension way up. 
okay? Have lots of fun knitting on your different patterns of intarsia. I can see visual, I can just visualize pillow tops with big flowers on and things like that. Okay, thank you.